Hey you guys, my name is Miss Hayes and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I hope you stick around and hear some of the things that I have to say. And if you are already a fan, then you know that I'm obsessed with you. So with that, let's get into today's video. So today's video is going to be answering fan questions. So whoever thought I'd have fans, um, but somehow I do. And with that, let's get into answering their questions. I chose to start with this question because I think it's sort of a interesting way to get into the questions. And I think it'll set the mood for the type of questions that uh, I kind of got. So first question is, Hello, would it be okay to ask you a giantess related question? Figured I'd check before asking. I wanted to point out the fact that he, uh, he asked permission to ask a question. And this is a recurring theme with the people who love feet. They feel the need to ask permission. Even when I say, ask me anything, fan questions, ask me anything. Hi. Hi, Billfold. How you doing? I'm making a video. Are you going to just stand in the camera and make it focus on you? Come on. Get out of frame. Lay down. Don't. Kisses. Kisses. I want to kiss. All right, you guys. So question number one, do you ever wear tiny people in your shoes as insoles without socks? This comes from Josh from Instagram. Let me, let me repeat that. Do you ever wear tiny people in your shoes as insoles without socks? I'm a very literal person, so when I got this question, I didn't I didn't answer the question when when someone asked me a question on Instagram, I simply said, "Thank you. Do you want to stay anonymous or can I shout you out?" I didn't answer their question because I wanted to answer it only in the video, but I also didn't ask for more details. So, I'm going to answer this question in the way that my mind takes it. Do you ever wear tiny people in your shoes as insoles without socks? The answer to that question, Josh, is no. Um, there are no people tiny enough to fit in my shoes. Um, and if there were, I probably wouldn't do it still. If there were tiny people enough to fit in there, I don't want to hurt anybody. Also, um, I don't know if you maybe are talking about like Lego people. I have a, I really do have a feeling that's not what you're talking about. I think you actually mean like tiny little people that could fit in my shoe. Um, the answer is no. I would not wear tiny people um, as insoles without socks in my shoes. Question number two. What about a man with a foot fetish turns you on? This comes from Anonymous on Instagram. Uh, something that turns me on about a man that loves feet is the fact that they are sensitive, they are kind, they are thoughtful, they are giving. Most of the men that I've come into contact with that love feet are all of those things. So that's what turns me on. I love the feeling that me and a man that loves feet have a connection that's deeper than just the normal. Question number three is, do you pay attention to where you walk and if you step on something accidentally, do you feel bad? This, come from, this also comes from Anonymous on Instagram. I do not always watch where I am walking. I do not always pay attention when I am walking. I am a very clumsy person. Um, a lot of times I'll be on my phone and walking, so there will be times that I come like almost face to face with somebody else that I'm like walking into and um, that's really uncomfortable. 
The second part is if you step on something accidentally, do you feel bad? Um, that depends, Anonymous from Instagram. If I say, if I step on a puppy, let's say, uh, I feel terrible. I want to die. Um, if I step on a bug, no, I don't care. Let's be honest. So sorry, bug lovers out there. I don't care though. <laughs> Question number four, do you smoke cigarettes? From Anonymous on Instagram. So I used to smoke cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes from ages 19 to December of 27. So I smoked for about eight years. Um, I did recently quit. Even though I have quit smoking cigarettes, my name is Miss Hayes. So I hope that you guys do understand that I am a stoner. So I may not smoke cigarettes, but I definitely do smoke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, number five question is, why don't you do sessions? Another anonymous on Instagram. So for anyone that doesn't know what sessions are, uh, it's basically an in-person meetup where uh, basically the gist rundown of it is men want to worship your feet to some extent, either lightly very much so, um, but it's foot worship in person. The reason I don't do sessions is because I don't do meetups. Uh, I would never put myself in a circumstance where I feel uncomfortable or I could be in danger. So it's just not worth it for me. And that's not something I like to do. I'm a person that likes to live my life online. So question number six. Do you enjoy your toes being sucked? This comes from 10 to please on Instagram. The answer to that question is, I have no idea, guys, believe it or not, foot mistress that I am. I've never had my toes sucked, so. Never been with somebody that wanted to, which is kind of crazy. Now, knowing all of the men that would love to suck my toes. <laughs> so I don't know the answer to that question. Question number seven. Have you ever ripped open a sock with a hole in it? This is comes from Chuck on Instagram. So this question sort of confused me a little bit, but I think I understand Chuck what you're trying to ask. When you say, have you ever ripped open a sock with a hole in it? I think you mean, have you ever ripped open a sock with your toe? Like, have you ever ripped a hole in your sock with your toe? You know what I mean? Um, in that, in that circumstance, absolutely yes. I have plenty of socks that hold, have toe holes in them uh, that I just forget to throw away and then I'll throw it on and 30 minutes later I realize my big toe sticking out. So, and then it's just a re repetitive process. Like that literally happens probably like, it's a matter of like days to months until those pair of socks gets thrown away. Or you can go to my Poshmark and buy a pair. <laughs> Um, question number eight, how has your opinion changed on feet guys now versus when you, versus when you first started? This comes from DJ on my Snapchat. Uh, first off, I love DJ. I just want to shout you out, but I really appreciate DJ. So this was a great question. Um, my opinion on feet guys before I started this whole thing was probably like everybody else watching this video that doesn't have a foot fetish. I thought, um, a little weird. Why do you like feet? Um, they stink and like, I don't know, that's a little weird. But now it's like total opposite. Like, like, I, like I would not judge if, I would be flattered. Like I genuinely hope that the next boyfriend I have or whomever like is sort of into feet because like, it's like a world, like, a physical world thing that I haven't really experienced. It's just an online world thing. But like I said, I'm not doing sessions. So like, I want it to be like, I want this person to do it. And I want this person to do it. Did I say that twice? I want this person to want to do it. And I want this person to do it. It's like, I want it to be and like, we're in love and everything great and happy and stuff like that. You just want to suck my toes. Okay. Um, and now so versus now, I mean, everything has changed. I feel like I could, I genuinely feel like 
I am 100% myself when I'm chatting with a man that loves feet. My opinion has probably done a 180 in the sense of how it's changed since before and now. So thank you, DJ. Another one from DJ, I, I think I asked him, I was like, I need some like actually good questions because all the questions that I'm getting are like, do you enjoy your toes being sucked? Do you enjoy, do you, would you step, would you wear tiny people in your shoes as insoles without socks? So I needed some uh, real world questions. So thank you, DJ. Question number nine, what is something you've learned to like about your feet the most? Also DJ on Snap. Um, so even before, I think I mentioned this in a, a video, but even before I started like taking pictures of my feet and making money off my feet, like I always was one of those people was like, I didn't like, I always thought my feet were for feet. They were attractive. I was like, my toes are kind of long. Like I have thin feet, like for what it's worth. If you're asking me if I think my feet are pretty before I would even just say yes. But something that I love about my feet now, like being able to look at them and, you know, be specific about what it is, is um, I have really big toenails. There's a lot of real estate for toenail polish on there. And like, what's better than a gorgeous color? You know what I mean? So that's something I like big nail beds, toenail beds, especially on my big toes. And just, just that, you know, there's no other, there's no other feet like them. These are my feet. No one else has them. They're mine. They're connected to me and I love them. And I know a bunch of you guys do too. Question number 10. Have you ever teased your feet in public to someone staring at them? If not, would you? This comes from anonymous on Snapchat. Not intentionally. If not, would you? I probably wouldn't have even known that was a thing before I started this hook this whole foot thing because I that's how little I thought someone could be attracted to feet. That's how little someone that is attracted to feet needs. Just like a little bit of like, so so many other videos will come you guys. Like it, it takes very little to attract a foot guy with a pair of feet. Just saying. So yes, I would now, especially if I'm being paid. Question number 11, fan questions. Have you like blown up on OnlyFans? This comes from John on my regular person Instagram, not Miss Hayes, but my governmental name, governmental. Um, no, actually. So that's a great question. And I was hoping to get more questions like this because these videos are mainly for the people that don't know Miss Hayes. And I want you guys to learn about her. And I think these questions are a good way to do that because they are your questions and I'm simply answering them. What, a, what, a, why would I lie at this point? I'm coming forward with everything that I'm doing. And, um, so I'm really glad that you, so the question is, did I blow up on, on OnlyFans? John, I did not blow up on OnlyFans. I will do a video, um, explaining how what it's like on OnlyFans or how much I've made to date um, on OnlyFans. But no, I mean, I OnlyFans is not where I blew up. It's not the most money that's coming in month monthly, but it's something that's coming in. But no, it's nothing crazy. So technically, no, I didn't blow up on OnlyFans, but I do have fans. <laughs> okay. Question number 12. Why did you decide to make a YouTube channel? I decided to finally make a YouTube channel because I want to tell the people that love feet that it is okay. We need to start talking about it. Like, and I want to be that person that talks about it. Like it is a market that no one is like infiltrating. And I want to be that person. I want to be that girl that like convinces men that like, there's nothing wrong with you guys. There really is nothing wrong with you. And anyone that tells you that there is, is so deeply flawed themselves. I promise. I literally promise you. And I also wanted to make a YouTube channel for myself because I have a lot of things that I keep deep down inside. And I think I need to get those things out. And I think some of those things can help other females. So YouTube video, yeah. I wanted to document everything that I had to say for the people that know me in my real life. 
I want you guys to know what I've been off up to. I want to scream it from the rooftops. I said this before that I sell feed pictures and I love it. I do a lot of things. See, feed pictures is just one of the things you guys. And I love it. I really do. I really, it's something that like, and more than the money, it's like, the, the the relationships and friendships that I've made and the understanding I've learned to be kinder to myself because of how hard some of these men are on themselves I'm like I will I would never allow these men to talk about themselves like this why do I allow myself to talk to myself like this I'm starting to like have a more level of self-love because I see what it's really like in firsthand to hate yourself because a lot of these men maybe don't hate themselves, that's kind of harsh, but hate that they like feet. And I mean that, I mean that you guys. And so that's where we connect. The next question I asked myself, I wrote this question down because I was like, I needed another legit question. Um, so uh, this question comes from Miss Hayes. Where did you get Miss Hayes from? Uh, I'm a stoner. There was a time when I started actually growing weed legally in my house and um I was started before I started doing fee or content or anything like that I was I started making you know smoking videos or like these cool effect videos I thought they were cool they're not cool um or documenting the grow process so that's where my name came from. And then when I started doing the feet thing, it sort of worked out because like Miss, Mistress, Hayes, like it just somehow worked out and Miss Hayes became real. So that's, to answer my own question, that's where Miss Hayes came from. Why are you so kind? And that's from Anonymous. The answer to that question, Anonymous, is I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Maybe because I've been through a lot and I know what it's like to have one person be kind to you and the difference that that one person can make. Just a little bit of kindness. All right, question number 15. What's your wildest fantasy nobody knows about? I don't know. Maybe swimming in a pool of cash money? That, that's probably it. Swimming in a pool of cash money. Question number 16. What do you do besides this for income? This comes from Do Wa Diddy from Clapper, from the Clapper app, which is a live broadcasting app, which is where I make the majority of my money. It's, it's probably it's a good chunk of where my money comes from. Not the main, maybe not the main one, but it is a app that I use to promote myself to another. It's it's complicated, but I these are videos I plan on making in the future. Um, but so other than live streaming, I make mo the majority of my money from live streaming. So Clapper, other apps like that, then personalized content you know it's one person who's buying specific content for a premium price um, because it's personalized just for them so that's probably my second biggest um, income of money coming in third would be probably selling shoes and selling my socks other items that kind of thing Poshmark uh, probably the last would be um, would be OnlyFans probably uh, would be the lowest of the uh, incoming money that I make on a monthly basis. It doesn't mean it's it's nothing. It just means that out of all of my streams of income, that is the least profitable. But all are profitable. Question number 17. Since joining this type of service, have you been more sexual or acted differently in your normal life? This comes from Travis on Fanbase. So Travis, my, another great friend of mine, thank you. You always help me come up with good video ideas and you help me out with these questions, so I appreciate you. I just say I'm way more confident, Travis. I am like, you, I am so much more confident after starting all of this than I ever was before. I am still deeply um, self-doubtful, but 
way less now that I have people telling me every single day how beautiful I am, how nice I am. I mean, how does that not like eventually get to you? So that's how things have changed. My real life, uh, there's not a lot of action going on. So real life, not really much, much has changed. I'm just <laughs> doing a lot more on the internet. Question number 18, what expenses are worth it? This also comes another question from Travis on Fanbase. This is a great question for girls who are thinking about just live streaming. If you're just thinking about live streaming, it doesn't have to do with feet. I'll tell you what's worth it. Invest in a ring light, a ring light. I'll insert a picture right here. Um, it will make all the difference. It'll easy, easily hold up your phone. Um, other than that, nothing really else is coming to mind. Um, and that pretty much tells you that there probably isn't any other essential expenses. If you start making real money and you'll know, you'll know, don't buy anything up until that point. But another thing would be guys, the biggest thing for me that took me to another level was investing in a second phone. Um, because that way you can go, you can be broadcasting at the same time on multiple different apps. And that is where I found um, the biggest increase in the amount of money that I was making. Even though I was paying an extra phone bill, it was worth it for the extra amount of money that I was making. So, but don't do that. That is like a huge commitment. Don't do that until like literally you are like, I, I can afford it and then you do it. Don't ever, don't, don't do it like <laughs> when you're first starting because it's not worth it at that point. Question number 19, what part of your feet would you say normally smell the most? Okay, let's be honest, even though I, sm I sh even though I smell, even though I sell my super worn shoes and socks and like, you know, they're smelly and everything like that. Like for the most part, my feet are very clean. I take care of them. I go to the, um, nail salon like every other week really the answer to that i'm not 100 percent sure but if if it was my opinion i'm probably gonna guess like the part like this part like where your toes meet your foot that's just a guess though i i really don't know question number 20 how are you this is a two-parter um first question is how are you I am good. Thank you for asking. I hope you are as well. Second part. Roughly how much do you make a month doing feet things? This is 10 to please. Another one from 10 to please on Instagram. Um, so it varied. Obviously in the beginning it was not as much. Sometimes it goes up. Sometimes it is a little slow month. I mean, it really varies, but it can vary anywhere between one to $3,000. I mean, it could change, but that's usually around where it falls. Uh, one to $3,000 per month. Last and final question. Obviously men love your feet. Have you ever sucked your own toes? This is Stang Dad on Instagram. And that question, Stang Dad, I am going to answer just for my fans on OnlyFans because it's a secret and only you guys deserve to know. But um, this has been so much fun, you guys answering these 21 questions. Uh, I hope that some of your questions were able to be answered. I definitely will be doing like a part two uh, fan questions because hopefully this will encourage people that know me off the internet to ask questions about really exactly what it is that I'm doing and get more fun feet questions because it's always fun answering those and I know that my footmen love to uh, listen to what I have to say about, you know, these fun topics. So this was the easiest video I've ever recorded. Just answering questions and talking to the camera. It's like, I don't have to think about the next thing that I'm gonna say and it's awesome, so. This is great, 21 questions down, a billion more to go. So please, you guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you found yourself enjoying it. 
And if you really want, you can leave a comment with another question you have and I'll really try to answer it. All right, you guys, with that, that's the end of the video. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoy the day and come watch another video. See what I have to say. Keep watching. All right, bye guys.